Hey everyone, Value Add Mike here today to discuss why it's important to understand your unit mix. For those who don't know, my name is Mike Taravella, Value Add Mike, and me and my business partners manage over $80 million in commercial real estate, specifically in the multifamily sector today. And today I wanted to share my thoughts on particular unit mixes. So generally speaking, in the Southeast, we don't like to see all one bedroom units. And the reason for that is because we notice that one bedroom units have a lot more turnover than any other type. And so if you think about it operationally, every year, usually for two bedrooms or three bedrooms, you get a resident stay two to three years after renovation. However, when it comes to one bedrooms, you that primarily stay for one year or even less in many instances. So operationally, you're going to have to spend a lot more time painting, updating flooring, doing damages, damage control. And so that one, one turn that we could do in a two bedroom that will last two to three years, we'll have to do two to three times when it comes to that. And so when looking at your next limited partner investment, think of if I see a one bedroom deal, how many times do I have in money to renovate that unit time and time again? And will, will, will we be able to recoup that money through? And so I know we invest in Denver, which is primarily a very one bedroom and studio focus. And that's because we, and we're okay with that because it's more densely populated, higher income, and we have a property management group on, on site that can do the turns and renovations. And it's a very interesting market because little nuances in terms of character of the building play into it. And so that market, yes, you have to do renovations to get market rent, but also you can, there's a lot more factors when it comes to residents uh, living there, such as where the building is facing. Is it a top floor, a middle floor, ground floor, basement unit? So, uh, but in the Southeast, we're primarily, primarily focusing on two units that have two bedrooms or three bedrooms. The best we like to see is townhomes because generally those have a premium of 50 to 100 bucks, even $200 in some markets. And a lot of people just like having no one above them. So townhomes are a great uh, addition. And we've seen a lot of success with that um, business model. Um, but generally we like to have a mix of one, twos and threes because generally the one bedroom apartments go into the two bedrooms. And sometimes the two bedrooms may be a little bit cramped for that family member who comes back, like maybe the college kid or a traveling cousin. Uh, but so we like to be able to accommodate many different family scenarios and dynamics for our resident. So generally we like to have some ones, half, at least 50% be twos and threes, uh, but so we can accommodate all factors. But we look at every property differently. If there's a lot of units with large one bedrooms, we might convert those to twos. But that's the beauty of the value add marketing is that we are multifamily is that we can look at different properties and different types and molds different ways to accommodate and create a answer a need that the market needs. So for those who uh, if this gave you any value whatsoever, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until then, we'll see you next time.